Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. California. California is the most populous state in the United States and the third most extensive by area. Located on the western coast of the U.S., California is bordered by Oregon to the north, Nevada to the east and northeast, Arizona to the southeast and it shares an international border with the Mexican state of Baja California to the south. The state capital is Sacramento. Los Angeles is California's most populous city and the country's second largest after New York City. The greater Los Angeles area and the San Francisco Bay Area are the nation's second and fifth most populous urban regions, respectively. California also has the nation's most populous county, Los Angeles County, and its largest county by area, San Bernardino County. California's diverse geography ranges from the Pacific Coast in the west to the Sierra Nevada mountain range in the east, and from the Redwood Douglas fir forests in the northwest to the Mojave Desert in the southeast. The Central Valley, a major agricultural area, dominates the state center. Though California is well known for its warm Mediterranean climate, the large size of the state means it can vary from moist temperate rainforest in the north to arid desert in the interior, as well as snowy alpine in the mountains. What is now California was first settled by various Native American tribes before being explored by a number of European expeditions during the 16th and 17th centuries. The Spanish Empire then claimed it as part of Alta California in the New Spain colony. The area became a part of Mexico in 1821 following its successful war for independence, but was ceded to the United States in 1848 after the Mexican-American War. The western portion of Alta California then was organized as the State of California and admitted as the 31st state on September 9, 1850. The California Gold Rush starting in 1848 led to dramatic social and demographic changes, with large-scale emigration from the east and abroad, with an accompanying economic boom. If it were a country, California would be the sixth-largest economy in the world and the 35th most populous. It is also regarded as a global trendsetter in both popular culture and politics, and is the origin of the film industry, the hippie counterculture, the internet, and the personal computer, among others. 58% of the state's economy is centered on finance, government, real estate services, technology, and professional, scientific and technical business services. The San Francisco Bay Area has the nation's highest median household income by metropolitan area, and is the headquarters of three of the world's largest 40 firms by revenue, Chevron, Apple, and McKesson. Although it accounts for only 1.5% of the state's economy, California's agriculture industry has the highest output of any U.S. state, Etymology The word California originally referred to the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. It was later extended to the entire region composed of the current United States states of California, Nevada, and Utah, and parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Wyoming. The name California is semized by some writers to have derived from a fictional paradise peopled by black Amazons and ruled by Queen Calalafia, who fought alongside Muslims and whose name was chosen to echo the title of a Muslim leader, the Caliph, fictionally implying that California was the Caliphate. The story of Calafia is recorded in a 1510 work The Adventures of Esplendian, written as a sequel to Amadeus de Gaula by Spanish adventurer writer Garcia Rodriguez de Montalvo. The Kingdom of Queen Calafia, according to Montalvo, was said to be a remote land inhabited 
by griffins and other strange beasts, and rich in gold. When Spanish explorer Francisco de Aloa was exploring the western coast of North America, his initial surveys of the Baja California Peninsula led him to believe that it was an island rather than part of the larger continent, so he dubbed the island after the mythical island in Montalvo's writing. This conventional wisdom that California was an island, with maps drawn to reflect this belief, lasted as late as the 1700s. Shortened forms of the state's name include CA, Cal, Caliph, and USCA. Pre-contact Settled by successive waves of arrivals during the last 10,000 years, California was one of the most culturally and linguistically diverse areas in pre-Columbian North America. Various estimates of the native population range from 100,000 to 300,000. The indigenous peoples of California included more than 70 distinct groups of Native Americans, ranging from large, settled populations living on the coast to groups in the interior. California groups also were diverse in their political organization with bands, tribes, villages, and on the resource-rich coasts, large chiefdoms, such as the Chumash, Pomo and Salinan. Trade, intermarriage and military alliances fostered many social and economic relationships among the diverse groups. 16th, 17th and 18th centuries The first European effort to explore the coast as far north as the Russian River was a Spanish sailing expedition, led by Portuguese Captain Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, in 1542. Some 37 years later English explorer Francis Drake also explored and claimed an undefined portion of the California coast in 1579. Spanish traders made unintended visits with the Manila galleons on the return trips from the Philippines beginning in 1565. The first Asians to set foot on what would be the United States occurred in 1587, when Filipino sailors arrived in Spanish ships at Morro Bay. Sebastian Vizcindo explored and mapped the coast of California in 1602 for New Spain. Despite the on-the-ground explorations of California in the 16th century, Rodriguez's idea of California as an island persisted. That depiction appeared on many European maps well into the 18th century. After the Portola expedition of 1769-70, Spanish missionaries began setting up 21 California missions on or near the coast of Alta California, beginning in San Diego. During the same period, Spanish military forces built several forts and three small towns. Two of the pueblos grew into the cities of Los Angeles and San Jose. The Spanish colonization brought the genocide of the indigenous Californian peoples. 19th century Imperial Russia explored the California coast and established a trading post at Fort Ross. Its early 19th-century coastal settlements north of San Francisco Bay constituted the southernmost Russian colony in North America and were spread over an area stretching from Point Arena to Tomales Bay. In 1821, the Mexican War of Independence gave Mexico independence from Spain. For the next 25 years, Alta California remained a remote northern province of the nation of Mexico. Cattle ranches, or ranchos, emerged as the dominant institutions of Mexican California. After Mexican independence from Spain, the chain of missions became the property of the Mexican government and were secularized by 1834. The ranchos developed under ownership by Californios who had received land grants and traded cowhides and tallow with Boston merchants. From the 1820s, trappers and settlers from the United States 
and the future Canada arrived in Northern California. These new arrivals used the Siskiyou Trail, California Trail, Oregon Trail and Old Spanish Trail to cross the rugged mountains and harsh deserts in and surrounding California. Between 1831 and 1836, California experienced a series of revolts against Mexico. This culminated in the 1836 California Revolt led by Juan Bautista Alvarado, which ended after Mexico appointed him governor of the department. The revolt, which had momentarily declared California an independent state, was successful. With the assistance of American and British residents of California, including Isaac Graham, after 1840, 100 of those residents who did not have passports were arrested, leading to the Graham Affair in 1840. One of the largest ranches in California was John Marsh. After failing to obtain justice against squatters on his land from the Mexican courts, he determined that California should become part of the United States. Marsh conducted a letter-writing campaign espousing the California climate, soil and other reasons to settle there, as well as the best route to follow, which became known as Marsh's Route. His letters were read, re-read, passed around, and printed in newspapers throughout the country, and started the first wagon trains rolling to California. He invited immigrants to stay on his ranch until they could get settled and assisted in their obtaining passports. After ushering in the period of organized emigration to California, Marsh helped end the rule of the last Mexican governor of California, thereby paving the way to California's ultimate acquisition by the United States. In 1846, settlers rebelled against Mexican rule during the Bear Flag Revolt. Afterwards, rebels raised the bear flag at Sonoma. The Republic's only president was William B. Ide, who played a pivotal role during the Bear Flag Revolt. The California Republic was short-lived. The same year marked the outbreak of the Mexican-American War, when Commodore John D. Sloat of the United States Navy sailed into Monterey Bay and began the military occupation of California by the United States. Northern California capitulated in less than a month to the United States forces. After a series of defensive battles in Southern California, the Treaty of Cahuenga was signed by the Californios on January 13, 1847, securing American control in California. Following the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo that ended the war, the Western Territory of Alta California became the United States State of California, and Arizona, Nevada, Colorado and Utah became United States territories. The lightly populated lower region of California, the Baja Peninsula, remained in the possession of Mexico. In 1846, the non-native population of California was estimated to be no more than 8,000 plus about 100,000 Native Americans down from about 300,000 before Hispanic settlement in 1769. After gold was discovered in 1848, the population burgeoned with United States citizens, Europeans, Chinese and other immigrants during the Great California Gold Rush. By 1854, over 300,000 settlers had come. Between 1847 and 1870, the population of San Francisco increased from 500 to 150,000. On September 9, 1850, as part of the Compromise of 1850, California was admitted to the United States undivided as a free state, denying the expansion of slavery to the Pacific Coast. California's native population precipitously declined, above all, from Eurasian diseases, to which they had no natural immunity. As in other states, the native inhabitants were forcibly removed from their lands by incoming miners, ranches, and farmers. And although California entered the Union as a free state, the loitering 
were orphaned Indians, were de facto enslaved by Mexican and Anglo-American masters under the 1853 Act for the Government and Protection of Indians. There were massacres in which hundreds of indigenous people were killed. Between 1850 and 1860, California paid around $1.5 million to hire militias whose purpose was to protect settlers from the indigenous populations. In later decades, the native population was placed in reservations and ranch areas, which were often small and isolated and without enough natural resources or funding from the government to sustain the populations living on them. As a result, the rise of California was a calamity for the native inhabitants. Several scholars and Native American activists, including Benjamin Madley and Ed Castillo, have described the actions of the California government as a genocide. The seat of government for California under Spanish and later Mexican rule was located at Monterey from 1777 until 1845. Pio Pico, last Mexican governor of Alta California, moved the capital to Los Angeles in 1845. The United States consulate was also located in Monterey, under Consul Thomas O'Larcon. In 1849, the Constitutional Convention was first held in Monterey. Among the tasks was a decision on a location for the new state capital. The first legislative sessions were held in San Jose. Subsequent locations included Vallejo and nearby Benicia. These locations eventually proved to be inadequate as well. The capital has been located in Sacramento since 1854 with only a short break in 1862, when legislative sessions were held in San Francisco due to flooding in Sacramento. Initially, Travel between California and the rest of the continental United States was time-consuming and dangerous. A more direct connection came in 1869, with the completion of the first transcontinental railroad through Donna Pass in the Sierra Nevada Mountains. Once completed, hundreds of thousands of United States citizens came west where new Californians were discovering that land in the state, if irrigated during the dry summer months, was extremely well suited to fruit cultivation and agriculture in general. Vast expanses of wheat, other cereal crops, vegetable crops, cotton, and nut and fruit trees were grown, and the foundation was laid for the state's prodigious agricultural production in the Central Valley and elsewhere. 20th century Migration to California accelerated during the early 20th century, with the completion of major transcontinental highways like the Lincoln Highway and Route 66. In the period from 1900 to 1965, the population grew from fewer than 1 million to become the most populous state in the Union. In 1940, the Census Bureau reported California's population as 6.0% Hispanic, 2.4% Asian, and 89.5% non-Hispanic white, to meet the population's needs. Major engineering feats like the California and Los Angeles aqueducts, the Oroville and Shasta dams, and the Bay and Golden Gate bridges were built across the state. The state government also adopted the California Master Plan for Higher Education in 1960 to develop a highly efficient system of public education. Meanwhile, attracted to the mild Mediterranean climate, cheap land, and the state's wide variety of geography. Filmmakers established the studio system in Hollywood in the 1920s. California manufactured 8.7% of total United States military armaments produced during World War II, ranking third among the 48 states. After World War II, California's economy greatly expanded due to strong aerospace and defense industries, whose size decreased following the end of the Cold War. Stanford University, 
and its dean of engineering Frederick Terman began encouraging faculty and graduates to stay in California instead of leaving the state and develop a high-tech region in the area now known as Silicon Valley. As a result of these efforts, California is regarded as a world center of the entertainment and music industries, of technology, engineering, and the aerospace industry, and is the United States center of agricultural production. Just before the dot-com bust, California had the fifth largest economy in the world among nations. Yet since 1991, and starting in the late 1980s in Southern California, California has seen a net loss of domestic migrants most years. This is often referred to by the media as the California Exodus. However, during the 20th century, two great disasters happened in California. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake and 1928 Street. Francis Dam flood remain the deadliest in U.S. history. Geography California is the third largest state in the United States in area, after Alaska and Texas. California is often geographically bisected into two regions, Southern California, comprising the ten southernmost counties, and Northern California, comprising the 48 northernmost counties. In the middle of the state lies the California Central Valley bounded by the Sierra Nevada in the east, the coastal mountain ranges in the west, the Cascade Range to the north and by the Tehachapi Mountains in the south. The Central Valley is California's productive agricultural heartland, divided in two by the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta, the northern portion. The Sacramento Valley serves as the watershed of the Sacramento River, while the southern portion the San Joaquin Valley is the watershed for the San Joaquin River. Both valleys derive their names from the rivers that flow through them, with dredging, the Sacramento, and the San Joaquin Rivers have remained deep enough for several inland cities to be seaports. The Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta is a critical water supply hub for the state. Water is diverted from the delta and through an extensive network of pumps and canals that traverse nearly the length of the state to the Central Valley and the state water projects and other needs. Water from the delta provides drinking water for nearly 23 million people, almost two-thirds of the state's population as well as water for farmers on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. The Channel Islands are located off the southern coast. The Sierra Nevada includes the highest peak in the contiguous 48 states, Mount Whitney, at the range embraces Yosemite Valley, famous for its glacially carved domes, and Sequoia National Park, home to the giant sequoia trees, the largest living organisms on Earth and the deep freshwater lake, Lake Tahoe, the largest lake in the state by volume. To the east of the Sierra Nevada are Owens Valley and Mono Lake, an essential migratory bird habitat. In the western part of the state is Clear Lake, the largest freshwater lake by area entirely in California, though Lake Tahoe is larger. It is divided by the California-Nevada border. The Sierra Nevada falls to Arctic temperatures in winter and has several dozen small glaciers, including Palisade Glacier, the southernmost glacier in the United States. About 45% of the state's total surface area is covered by forests, and California's diversity of pine species is unmatched by any other state. California contains more forestland than any other state except Alaska. Many of the trees in the California White Mountains are the oldest in the world. An individual bristlecone pine is over 5,000 years old. In the south is a large inland salt lake, the Salton Sea. The south-central desert is called the Mojave. To the northeast of the Mojave lies Death Valley, which contains the lowest 
and hottest place in North America, the Bad Water Basin at the horizontal distance from the bottom of Death Valley to the top of Mount Whitney is less than. Indeed, almost all of southeastern California is arid, hot desert, with routine extreme high temperatures. During the summer, the southeastern border of California with Arizona is entirely formed by the Colorado River, from which the southern part of the state gets about half of its water. California contains both the highest point and the lowest point in the contiguous United States. A majority of California cities are located in either the San Francisco Bay Area or the Sacramento metropolitan area in Northern California or the Los Angeles area, the Riverside San Bernardino Inland Empire or the San Diego metropolitan area in Southern California, the Los Angeles area, the Bay Area and the San Diego metropolitan area are among several major metropolitan areas along the California coast. As part of the Ring of Fire, California is subject to tsunamis, floods, droughts, Santa Ana winds, wildfires, landslides on steep terrain, and has several volcanoes. It has many earthquakes due to several faults running through the state in particular the San Andreas Fault. About 37,000 earthquakes are recorded each year, but most are too small to be felt. Climate Although most of the state has a Mediterranean climate, due to the state's large size, the climate ranges from subarctic to subtropical. The cool California current offshore often creates summer fog near the coast farther inland. There are colder winters and hotter summers. The maritime moderation results in the shoreline summertime temperatures of Los Angeles and San Francisco being the coolest of all major metropolitan areas of the United States, and uniquely cool compared to areas on the same latitude in the interior and on the east coast of the North American continent. Even the San Diego shoreline bordering Mexico is cooler in summer than most areas in the contiguous United States, just a few miles inland. Summer temperature extremes are significantly higher, with downtown Los Angeles being several degrees warmer than at the coast. The same microclimate phenomenon is seen in the climate of the Bay Area, where areas sheltered from the sea experience significantly hotter summers than nearby areas that are close to the ocean. Northern parts of the state have more rain than the south. California's mountain ranges also influence the climate. Some of the rainiest parts of the state are west-facing mountain slopes. Northwestern California has a temperate climate and the Central Valley has a Mediterranean climate, but with greater temperature extremes than the coast. The high mountains, including the Sierra Nevada, have an alpine climate, with snow in winter and mild to moderate heat in summer. California's mountains produce rain shadows on the eastern side, creating extensive deserts. The higher elevation deserts of eastern California have hot summers and cold winters, while the low deserts east of the southern California mountains have hot summers and nearly frostless mild winters. Death Valley, a desert with large expanses below sea level, is considered the hottest location in the world, the highest temperature in the world, was recorded there on July 10, 1913. The lowest temperature in California was in 1937 in Boca. The table below lists average temperatures for August and December in a selection of places throughout the state, some highly populated and some not. This includes the relatively cool summers of the Humboldt Bay region around Eureka, the extreme heat of Death Valley, and the mountain climate of Mammoth in the Sierra Nevadas. Ecology California is one of the richest and most diverse parts of the world, and includes some of the most endangered ecological communities. 
California is part of the Arctic Ecozone and spans a number of terrestrial ecoregions. California's large number of endemic species includes relict species, which have died out elsewhere, such as the Catalina ironwood. Many other endemics originated through differentiation or adaptive radiation, whereby multiple species develop from a common ancestor. To take advantage of diverse ecological conditions such as the California lilac, Many California endemics have become endangered, as urbanization, logging, overgrazing, and the introduction of exotic species have encroached on their habitat. Flora and Fauna California boasts several superlatives in its collection of flora, the largest trees, the tallest trees, and the oldest trees. California's native grasses are perennial plants. After European contact, these were generally replaced by invasive species of European annual grasses, and, in modern times, California's hills turn a characteristic golden brown in summer. Because California has the greatest diversity of climate and terrain, the state has six life zones which are the lower sonoran, upper sonoran, transition and the Canadian, Hudsonian, and Arctic zones, comprising the state's highest elevations. Plant life in the dry climate of the Lower Sonoran Zone contains a diversity of native cactus, mesquite, and palo verde. The Joshua tree is found in the Mojave Desert. Flowering plants include the dwarf desert poppy and a variety of asters, Fremont cottonwood, and valley oak thrive in the Central Valley. The upper Sonoran zone includes the Chaparral Belt, characterized by forests of small shrubs, stunted trees, and herbaceous plants. Nemophila, mint, Facelia, viola, and the California poppy the state flower also flourish in this zone, along with the lupine, more species of which occur here than anywhere else in the world. The transition zone includes most of California's forests with the redwood and the big tree, or giant sequoia, among the oldest living things on Earth. Tanbark oak, California laurel, sugar pine, madrona, broad-leaved maple, and Douglas fir also grow here. Forest floors are covered with sword fern, alum root, barren wort, and trillium, and there are thickets of huckleberry. Azalea, elder, and wild currant. Characteristic wild flowers include varieties of mariposa, tulip, and tiger and leopard lilies. The high elevations of the Canadian zone allow the Jeffrey pine, red fir, and lodgepole pine to thrive. Brushy areas are abundant with dwarf manzanita and ceanothus. The unique Sierra puffball is also found here, right below the timberline. In the Hudsonian zone, the white bark, foxtail, and silver pines grow. At about begins the Arctic zone, a treeless region whose flora include a number of wildflowers, including Sierra primrose, yellow columbine, alpine buttercup, and alpine shooting star. Common plants that have been introduced to the state include the eucalyptus, acacia, pepper tree, geranium, and scotch broom. The species that are federally classified as endangered are the Contra Costa wallflower, Antioch June's evening primrose, Solano grass, San Clemente Island larkspur, salt marsh bird's beak, McDonald's rock cress, and Santa Barbara Island live forever. 85 plant species were listed as threatened or endangered. In the deserts of the Lower Sonoran Zone, the mammals include the jackrabbit, kangaroo rat, squirrel, and opossum. Common birds include the owl, roadrunner, cactus wren, and various species of hawk. The area's reptilian life include the sidewinder viper, desert tortoise, and horned toad. The Upper Sonoran Zone boasts mammals such as the antelope, brown-footed woodrat, and ring-tailed cat. Birds unique to this zone are the California thrasher, bush tit, and California condor. 
In the transition zone, there are Colombian black-tailed deer, black bears, gray foxes, cougars, bobcats, and Roosevelt elk. Reptiles such as the gutter snakes and rattlesnakes inhabit the zone. In addition, amphibians such as the water puppy and redwood salamander are common too. Birds such as the kingfisher, chickadee, tahee, and hummingbird thrive here as well. The Canadian zone mammals include the mountain weasel, snowshoe hare, and several species of chipmunks. Conspicuous birds include the blue-fronted jay, Sierra chickadee, Sierra hermit thrush, water ouzel, and Towns End solitaire. As one ascends into the Hudsonian zone, birds become scarcer, while the Sierra rosy finch is the only bird native to the high Arctic region. Other bird species such as the hummingbird and Clark's nutcracker. Principal mammals found in this region include the Sierra coney, white-tailed jackrabbit, and the bighorn sheep. The bighorn sheep was listed as endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The fauna found throughout several zones are the mule deer, coyote, mountain lion, northern flicker, and several species of hawk and sparrow. Aquatic life in California thrives, from the state's mountain lakes and streams to the rocky Pacific coastline. Numerous trout species are found, among them rainbow, golden, and cutthroat. Migratory species of salmon are common as well. Deep sea life forms include sea bass, yellowfin tuna, barracuda, and several types of whale. Native to the cliffs of Northern California are seals, sea lions, and many types of shorebirds, including migratory species. As of April 2003, 118 California animals were on the federal endangered list. 181 plants were listed as endangered or threatened. Endangered animals include the San Joaquin kit fox, Pointerina mountain beaver, Pacific Pocket Mouse, Salt Marsh Harvest Mouse, Morro Bay Kangaroo Rat, Amargaza Vole, California Least Tern, California Condor, Loggerhead Shrike, San Clemente Sage Sparrow, San Francisco Garter Snake, five species of salamander, three species of chub, and two species of pupfish. Eleven butterflies are also endangered and two that are threatened are on the federal list. Among threatened animals are the coastal California gnatcatcher, peyote cutthroat, drought, southern sea otter, and northern spotted owl. California has a total of, of national wildlife refuges. 123 California animals were listed as either endangered or threatened on the federal list provided by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Also, 178 species of California plants were listed either as endangered or threatened on this federal list. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.